What's going on guys? We're out here um, in Southern Indiana on a small local lake. I uh, already launched the boat. Going to do a quick video on uh, the Tackle Tip Friday, I guess, uh, that I just uploaded. So stay tuned. Um, we'll see if we can't put some fish in the boat. Somebody. Yeah, I got one, a little one screwing with it. Oh, I got him. Oh, he came off. That sounds a bit more green. Do you have one? Yeah. That was small. Yeah. It does look like it's going to rain. I mean, we're in the rain, but. That looks like it's going to rain. That really looks like. That really looks like rain. It's like coming this way too. Yeah, it's raining. Quick update. Uh, when you hear things that sound like trains and there's no trains, that's rain. Fun fact. Ooh, pro. I was just gonna say wacky rigs are really ideal for areas like this and skipping them up underneath there. And then I followed up with that. A little better. I don't know how that dock's made, but. <laughs> That's all it's supposed to work, but. Dang it. Nah, it was a little baby. You almost can't even plan those. Anyway, wacky rigs do really well for overhanging areas like this, back underneath those pontoon tunes. I don't know what they're called, pontoons. Um, and underneath docks and skip them back underneath there. You can typically skip these things are really far away because they're weightless and that's why I like to throw it on a spinning reel. This is the same drop shot setup that I have um, in some of the other videos but yeah skipping them under docks prime time area for the wacky rig. Oh, there's a bite. I like how Dad was like, stay with some cell phone range. I was like, yeah, because I know all the dead spots on this lake. <laughs> there he is. Oh. Small one? I mean, it's probably a small one, but it's... You can flip back in there if you want. Got it again. There he is. Got it that time. Oh, it's a giant. It's not even. A, it's not even. A... See, flip docks with a Senko on a wacky rig, and you catch giants like this. It's almost a bass. Near beer bass. There's a bite. Oh, you kidding me. You have another bite? Yeah, I had another bite in that same spot. Wacky rigs are really good for follow-up baits. If like if you know there's a bite, you got a bite, you can flip one of these back in there and they'll think it's what they ate and killed and it'll just fall right back down into the face and normally Normally you get a bite back on it. There's a, there it is again. Got him that time. He's no giant, 
but he pulled back. He's a fish. Yeah, I'm surprised there weren't more. Oh, there's one. That's a little bigger one. He's got something wild going on with him. He's got some herpes or something. All right, here comes the rain again. I will die. This one doesn't look like it's gonna last that long. one bad thing about fishing these wacky rigs is when you catch one you often lose your worm it's good to have a bunch of them with you there's oh i had another one back there i'm so good at hitting this tree You gotta be good at something. I'm catching the one branch in the water. <laughs> Where oh. are the junkies? I don't know. I don't know another bite though. I think it's really small. I think that's their house right there. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. We're on fire. Oh, there goes your worm. There goes my worm. Dang it. All right, well, time to put you guys away for a little bit. What's going on, guys? Uh, stopped at a local crappie hole, which also happens to be a brush pile we built a long time ago. We'll see if we can't catch any crappie here. There's one. That's almost a good one. It ain't real big. Hell, that ain't almost even a crappie. But we're trying to give some fresh fish to somebody, so there's a billion of these things in there. We're trying to catch some of these. Yeah. So. We're going to keep it for them. This lake was overran by big gizzard shad about three years ago and has hurt everything since. 